Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady, um, in my naughty little position again. I seem to have been in this position an awful lot just lately. Um, but the last couple of bags that I bought, I have sent back. So I sent the Chanel one back, I returned the pink Gucci one, which broke my heart. But I kind of thought, I really don't need five Gucci handbags all in the same style. So I kind of had to choose between them and the pink one, as much as I loved it, I thought... I probably won't use it that much so I returned it to Bag Mad Booty and she kindly refunded me. She's an absolutely brilliant seller so if you are looking for a pre-owned handbag go and check out her website, she's wonderful. So I have treated myself to something else. <laughs> so here it is, it's arrived this morning so let's get it open and have a look. But the funny thing is about this bag, I have actually owned one of these before exactly the same and I did buy it I don't know, was it a year or two years ago? And it was a bit of a strange one. I bought it off this lady and I did a review on it. And then within a couple of days of owning it, she emailed me absolutely begging me to sell her it back. I reckon she couldn't live without it. It meant more to her than she dared tell me. And so I returned it to her. <laughs> so although I've owned one of these bags before, I've never actually used one. So when I saw this one come up for sale, I thought, I want to try one of those bags again. Um, so I treat myself. So here it is. If you want it open, I can't get it in the box. Right. So lift it out. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. It's lots of nice bubble wrap. Right. So it is, you'll probably all laugh at this, it's so strange. It's a mulberry, um, where's my dust bag there? And it is, get it out, dun, 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 dun. it is a metallic mushroom, um, small Bayswater satchel, I think it's called. So I, if you've been following me for a long time, obviously you'll remember that I had one of these, um, but I never used it. So I did the little review on it and I even watched my review back to try and remember what the bag was like. Um, and I thought, yeah, I still do really like it. So I thought, I am going to buy it again. <laughs> so I bought it again. So here it is. It's very, very cute. It's a very small bag. I remember it being small. Um, and I remember the colour just being really, really lovely and really fascinating. It's sort of, well, it's like metallic y, so it's not shiny, but it does shimmer, if that makes sense. And then it has the lovely. I love the old mulberry um, padlock on the front, little turn lock, it's so sweet. And then they have the little mulberry lock in there. And then it has adjustable sides. And I think the mulberry logo is engraved on, on them. Yeah, it is on the top, if you can see that. Um, and they're just a really lovely bag. I know this sort of colour comes in and out of fashion. I know they did some lilies in it and they were sort of really sought after. Um, and then. I, I like the lilies, but again, the gold chain sometimes annoys me. So I thought, I know this one, you can wear it crossbody. The strap is adjustable. See the little holes in it. And I just think it's really sweet. Um, so they are just, I think, one... They're just one microfiber lined compartment. And then they've got one little slip pocket at the back. And this one is made in England, which I always think is really nice. The lady herself had bought it from Vista Village um, and she had bought it brand new. So she said she hadn't used it much and she's even put the receipt in, bless her. And all the other little bits and bobs that it comes with. It's nice and there's her receipt. And then that tells you all about the leather and stuff. So this is my, <laughs> another naughty little treat. They're a bit different to the other two bags that I returned, obviously, because this is the, the top handle one. and. Let's test it out. So, again, you can carry it in the top of your hand, uh, which is really, really lovely. I don't think you can really get it in the crook of your arm, from what I can remember. Uh, not really, no. You can't really go out in the crook of your arm. So it's top handle, um, long strap, so you can wear it on your shoulder. And then you can wear it crossbody. Again, I think it's really nice crossbody. I've tried to put something different on. Um, I wanted to try it with some trousers rather than just jeans all the time. So um, I think it looks nice with some different coloured trousers. 
But again, if you wear jeans with it as well, it will, will, will be really nice. So this is it. Ta da! <laughs> you probably all think I'm bonkers. It's not very often that I do buy the same bag. Um, because you sort of think you sold it for a reason, so obviously you didn't want it, but I really never ever got a chance to use it, so um, I'm really excited to use this little bag, and I know a lot of my followers do love Mulberry. Um, Mulberry's always really special, I don't know why, it's sort of what I first started my channel with, was sort of Mulberry handbags, so it's always nice to go back to them. So that's my cute little Mulberry, <laughs> she's very cute. This is small but lovely and then I think it's kind of the right size because I know my sunglasses will fit in it, I know my purse will and my car keys, it's really light as well, really light, it's sort of, it doesn't weigh anything, It's so so no matter what you put in it, it'll never be too heavy, it's lovely. I know a couple of ladies I did speak to, they had one and they said it annoyed them when the, the handles flopped down, which I can see that and maybe that will annoy me, I don't know, but again I am going to use this bag. Um, to make my mind up if I want to keep it or not because um, obviously I bought it in a private sale so I can't return it anyway so if I want to move it on I will have to sell it but I am going to use it and give it a go and see what it's like so that's my little Mulberry metallic base water it's a very very pretty colour um, I don't want to waffle on too much because obviously I've already done a video on this bag um, but uh, when I've used it a few times then I can do a video on what you know what it's like to use so that's my new little naughty treat. There we go. So thank you very much for watching and sharing my little unboxing. I hope you'll have a lovely, lovely day and I shall speak to you soon. If you do enjoy handbags, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>